What's going on YouTube? John here with Dig That Beat. I'm Mike. I'm Billy. Gary. Gary, Phillip, Mike. We've got four of us today. We're starting where me and Gary left off. Um, we got some silvers here last time, some wheats. One big thing today, all four of us are going to be swinging the mana cores, trying to get a feel for it. We know it's good. It's made by Mine Lab. They got a good track record. Um, Mike's, he customized it a little bit. Phillip's put a blue band on his so we don't get it mixed up with each other's. Mike says, John sucks. I told him he's going to be replacing this though soon with rocks because I'm going to teach him a lesson about talking smack. <laughs> Gary, he's got his mana core. I actually know the serial number on mine. The last two digits is Mike's birth year. So that's how we're kind of keeping them apart. But we're going to see what we can find. After we leave here, we've got a few other spots we've been to that we're going to go over to see if the mana core can find some stuff. Um, that's the plan. We'll catch you guys in the field. So the GoPro is out of the car. I'm walking to Phillip. I've got some clad one wheat. But I don't know what Phillip's got yet. He just yelled out for me to come check it out. Where we at, Phillip? Yeah. I do see it. It's silver. It's shining. It is shining. <laughs> I'll pick it up. Yeah. Good job, Phil. Thank you. Good job, man. Thank you, man. Sweet. What kind of number was that? Uh, it's about 80, 81. That's but awesome. it's all kind of trash metal. I was getting metal signals left and right. You know, it's beeping in the red like crazy. I'm like, man. But the man, of course, still picked good. it out, didn't yeah. it? Yeah, but it sounded good That's in amazing. between all that mess, man. That is incredible, dude. 1945 silver mercury dime. That is Phillips, what, third silver ever? Third. That's amazing. You're hanging out with some good people or something, man. I don't know. What's going yeah. on? It's got to be good people, man. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. Good friends, good people. It, exactly, man. Good job, Phillips. Thank you. Thank you. Happy for you, man. Get you another one. Gary, did you get one? We got one. Good signal or cra crappy uh, signal? Kind of, a, kind of a funky signal. It had 83, yeah. but it was smeared a little bit. Even on the target ID, it had a little glob on it. Mm -hmm. Flipped the plug out, hit it with a pinpointer, about pinpointer deep, would pull out a nail. Flipped the plug back over, went back over it again, and about two inches deep, that came out on an 81. Is it a 30 or a 39? I'm not sure. 36. It's got a 1936 mercury dime. I can't tell if it's got a mint. Kind of a different year. We normally dig these out of the 40s. That's another silver on the year. Another silver with the mana core. And we're going to get after some more, man. Good Thank job, you. Gary. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Walking my way to Mike. He's waving me over for something. Looks like he's trying to put it in his belly. What are you doing? Okay, tell me what it is not looking at. What? Can you tell me the number? 63. 63? Indian? Don't look, no. Don't look. I'm going to put it here and turn it. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's... Ooh. Ooh. Dang. That's a monster, it dude. It is a monster. <laughs> oh, wow. Y'all going to show me? Nope. <laughs> here you go. See ya. Okay. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> holy crazy. crap. That's amazing. That's one of the big ones, man. Yeah, that's neat. A monster skeleton key. That. That's probably going to be the find of the day. We don't get those often. That's a monster. That's cool. Last place. No, John's in last place, ain't he? Yeah, I'm in, la I'm in last place. I'm in third place. I'm definitely in last place, but that's amazing, man. That's going to be the find of the day, dude. It's going to take a crazy silver coin to beat that because these don't pop yeah, out of the ground yeah, off the grass, that's man. Cool. That's yeah. amazing, dude. Thank Good you. job. That's awesome. Taking a walk over to Gary. He said, I want to bring the camera for this one. Which doesn't make sense to me because I bring the camera every time. So it's like this was different or something. <laughs> what numbers? Just tell me the number. In that mushed up stuff? Yeah. Right there, hear it? Not really. Oh, there they go, twenty dollar <laughs> twenty dollar bill. <laughs> you kidding me, dude? Nah. -uh. Look at that. Hold on. <laughs> Let me get out of this. That's crazy. One of these guys out here paving this. 
Oh, walking down the way. side, you know what I mean? Uh huh. They just recently paved this little pull in. Look at that. Go ahead and do the honors, Gary. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> That's funny. That's amazing, man. Hey, keep your eyes open when you're metal detecting, right? That's going to be the most valuable find today, probably. I don't know. I guess I still like Mike's key better. Well, I like but... it better, but far as value. Yeah. We'll take that all day. Yeah. Good job, man. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Okay, so we're going to move spots, but we're not going very far. Um, I ended up with six weeds. Mike got eight wheats in that cool skeleton key. Gary and Philip both got one silver dime and a couple of wheats. When we pulled up, the homeowner across the street here was super nice. We was just kind of talking with them at first. Went over and spoke with him, and he owns this house and that house. His name's Brad, and he said we can go through the yards. So that's what we're going to do. Stay tuned. I got a few wheats. Mike's digging on something, but I think he found a bonus in the hole. He got some metal copper off the probably something with the house side, I guess. Roof. But in the hole, you got a pretty mar marble here. A nice bonus. We love marbles. And that's a pretty one. I like it, man. Thank me. Good job. I got one in a while. So I'm walking to Mike. I think he got his first silver with the manacore. And he does, right there. That's amazing, Mike. Sounded crazy too, didn't it? Mm -hmm. He got something else going on, that's why. Nineteen fifty four Rosie with a D mint mark. Hey guys, we're about to do me still more. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Good job, man. Thanks, Your turn. I hope so, dude. I've already got 12, 13 wheats. Can't pop a silver there. Let's do it. All right, so I finished my side. It was really small. Mike done a couple lines, got his silver, and then uh, saved me a few lines. And I've got a good many wheats today. I'm having really good luck on the wheats, but it's been slow on the silver. And I finally got on the board with those guys. We all got one apiece now. It's going to be a 41D Mercury Dime. That was very sweet of Mike. Sometimes I do feel like he really cares about me. And sometimes I don't. But uh, we still got this whole side. I only did to the tree right here. Just two lines off the fence. So we got this center, the sides, and the back. I think these guys are going to come back over with me so we can finish it. But keep watching. Philip walked up and he got this little angel here, like some little charm. It looks aluminum. Something different though. Did you get something else? Like um, you're digging for something. Just some old shoes. How do you dig all this crazy stuff? I don't know. That's don't cool, know. man. I'm what trying to say. I'm just trying to. You know, know what? It says something, right? Yeah, I'm just trying to dig silver, man. I don't know how I end up with all this stuff. It's got like a number on it or something. Dude, that's old, man. I don't know what that is. A little pair of shoes and an angel. Cool, man. I like it. Cool. Good job. Thank you. All right, so kind of starting in the backyard. Got a few more wheats. And this signal here was an 82 on the mana core. And check it out right there. It's gonna be silver for sure. 1935 plain mercury dime. Cool. What's that about that, Phil? Good job. Go get you something else, man. Uh. So I just got done taking a break, went and got us some drinks, and I got me a little five-piece wing. But I think Mike's on the board with something else. Oh, the little my legs hurt. In the backyard, and look at there. 
get in there and get it. I didn't where it was. I pressed it right there so me and Gary could play with the signal. Just to hear it on the manticore? Mm -hmm. What numbers? Um, a lot of people. Like in the 90 high, it was, I mean, crazy. Yeah, it was, it was crazy. It's like that now. That's what we was playing with it for. What is it if you get it out of the hole? Let's, let's try it. Oh, yeah. So Mike's got a 1957 Roosevelt dime. It was hitting really high in the hole, but it shouldn't hit that high out of the hole. 82. That's what it should hit. So it's really not a good spot to be telling anybody what number it is. Yeah. But 82, 83 should be what a good silver dime number would be. But that's, uh, that's awesome, man. Good job. Thank you. Well, welcome. The key, mm -hmm. I thought it was talking about marble. What are you talking about? Big and big. No, the key. The other big one was the one I dug when me and you first went to the tape them together okay. down in the lounge. So you do have one big one. Yeah, you dug it. Not yeah. that big. That old house right there. <laughs> big girl, that's a, but not that yeah, big. Yeah, that's a big one. So Philip, he's still he's oh, still new. God. We laugh at him a lot. He'll be over there trying to there'll be a signal and he'll work on it five, six minutes. And we're like, dude, you could have dug it three times already, <laughs> trying to get it to sound better. So we give him a hard time, but he didn't know everything to show me to record, like the little angel, the feet. I mean, that's cool stuff. And then he's like, I got this. So he's had a marble this whole time. Well, Mike was showing his dog. Well, well that's because yeah. we, we show marbles on the channel. <laughs> so we do record we're marbles. Of mine when it fell out the hole. Yeah. So anytime you get a marble, call me over. I'll come record it. Them are good, man. All right. Cool. Good job. That's bonuses. You. That's bonuses. Bonus. You know, you, a lot of times you find them in the hole of coins. Up. You look in there and you know, you could be getting a wheat penny or something. Kid dropped his marble with it. So. Oh, yeah. That's good, cool. man. Good job. Thanks. All right, so that first spot you seen this morning, 35 minutes from home. We drove another 40 minutes to this spot. Those of you who watch the channel will be familiar with this area. This is the bowling pin shaped median that we've had such crazy luck in, but there's literally no signals left here. Um, so we're just trying to go through this to see what the mana core can find. Um, so far, some nails, one or two pull tabs. I had a deep mid 40 signal hitting like 43, 44 on the mana core. And I'll show you this. We have found these on the channel before. I don't know if it's gold filled or gold plated, but I th is it World War II? I think so, yeah. But it's gonna be a World War II. I think it's called a ruptured duck. A little pin, that's really neat. Still got a lot of good color to it. Probably about six inches down in that hole. I'm happy to find that. Finding anything here is an uh, accomplishment, so I'll take that and we're going to keep on digging. So I just got some B-roll footage, and uh, I got a good nickel signal, 24 on the uh, on the mana core, and I had stabilization turned off, so I had to turn it back on. That's why I stopped the recording. But if you look right here, you see the dark soil where it come off of. I got a nickel. It's definitely older. Buffalo. Buffalo nickel. It's amazing. Sweet. Good job, man. Appreciate it, dude. Thank you. I was hoping for an old nickel today, and I will definitely take a buffalo. That's amazing. Manicore hurt, hurt it down there. Let's see. Keep wanting to say the equinox, probably seven, eight inch coin. But you can see the dark soil where it was attached. Then right there is the other half of the imprint. That's amazing. All right, let's keep on digging. Okay, so we came around the corner from the last spot. I ended up getting that buffalo and that ruptured duck pen right over here. Used to be an old school here. We had really good luck out front. I got a wheat, which is surprising because we fit this really hard too. I think Gary has got a bonus now. So Mike, Gary, and Philip all have bonuses today, which is crazy because we don't get bonuses often.
Let's see. Like an old swirly. Oh yeah. A little bit of swirly white in it. Just a little bit, not much. Definitely a, a good bonus, man. It's heavy too. I think I like that one the best out of all of them today, honestly. It's the oldest and, and the coolest probably. I, I think so, really. <laughs> I wonder why it's so heavy. It does feel heavy. It's super heavy in it. Yeah, I like it. Cool. Appreciate good it. Good job. Thank you, sir. Welcome. Getting a little bit of interference. Mike, what'd you just get here? Wheat? I got a wheat penny in this hole. Okay. I thought it was over there the next signal, but sounds good like this. Oh, wow. Wait a minute. What the hell? What's causing that? <laughs> Philip. They, they're interfering with each other. That's yeah, not doing what the burn is. It? Uh, I can hear something in there, but it's got funky interference, man. You're getting some interference. Probably from one of our mana cores. Right it was perfect. No, it was perfect while ago. That's weird. Did you get something? Yeah, well, I should come see this. Hmm. That is weird, Mike. There it was. Anyway, it sounded good. But the fact you just got a wheat Until right here. They come over here and ruin my party. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess the most promising thing is you just got a wheat right that's, here. That's the main thing. That's the main thing. We can hope for another wheat at least. <laughs> what should be one of those ghost signals? Where did that? Hmm. There's gonna be one they're about to come back to. I'll try this. Need a big old hub. Enough. Red put a truck. Is that unplugged, is it? I tried it while ago, it didn't. Okay. Now it's cooking the hot water. Oh, there's a nail, man. I think under your hand, right there. Hey, yeah, don't tell me that. Can't be it. You got something else going on, man. Of course, nails will throw you off. Pit pointed that nail again. Hmm. Another nail. Well, well, we'll get back with that. Yeah. See if it clears up or anything. Well, good, good attempt. Yep. So, we're still trying to figure out the numbers on this mana core. We know a nickel hits a twenty-four. Mike had something hitting a 17, which is super low, but it looks like a button. It is a button. It is a button. It's got like a, one of those little bitty, what is that thing called? What are they called? A bird. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? It's just I a, know what it is. It's like, I can't think of the name. It's a two-hole button that, uh, that tracks this It's got one of those little, is it the same thing? What is it? Man, I know what it is. Let's wait for Tommy to smell it. Cool, it? Yeah. What it is, eh? I've seen one of those, the, the symbol. It ain't an anchor upside down, is it? It is an anchor. That's not what I thought it was. That's an anchor. Some, I bet it has got some writing in that thing. That's military. Mm -hmm. That might be the find of the day, man. I didn't think we could beat your uh, key with a that button right there. That'd be good. That's crazy. Don't tell Gillen. Uh, Gillen. Don't tell, I was trying to say Gary and Philip at the same time, Gillip. Gillip? Yeah. Okay, well. Don't tell Gary or Philip Gillip. because they're both looking because they're interested. Don't tell them what it is. Okay. Philip's walking over to me. I think he got, oh yeah, them are always fun, man. Now he's starting to learn the type of things we like to record, the types <laughs> of things that YouTube yeah. likes to see. <laughs> You got a makeup compact lid here. You can see the hinges on the back. This will be the top. It's got a little bit of fancy writing and decorative design on it. That's pretty cool, man. I like it. Sometimes you can clean them up and even get a manufacturer's name or something off of them. They're fun. Good job, Philip. Thank you. Let, well, me go find, let me go find some silver. It's tough out here, isn't it? Yeah. We hit this place hard, man. We get a few things, not much. A couple wheats and a few little relics, but we're going to keep on digging until dark. Absolutely. Good job. Thank you.
Phil's walking up. He said that uh, after going back, he does another makeup compact. We're thinking it could be the other half to the one he had already found. They're talking to each other. Talking. Let me turn this one off. Okay. That's the four sided one. And this one's the other half. So let's see. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, there it is. He got top and bottom. Isn't that cool? Didn't even know you had the bottom, did you? Nope. That's cool, dude. Good job, Philip. And I found that. Oh, that's cool. I wonder what that went to. I don't know. Huh. Somebody probably knows. It's like a pond. Yeah, it's cool. Like me. Good job, man. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. There's stuff out here. It's just hard to find. So Mike walked up and said he just dug a 36 on the mana core. This is the full Christ here stuff. Oh, it's old. <laughs> Goofy. Oh, a very fancy flat button in it. With a shank. With a shank. That's a cool button, Mike. You don't find... You got a back mark on it. You see it's got right... I do. You don't find a lot of flat buttons with a beautiful design on them like that. They're mostly just plain. That's awesome, dude. That is up there with that key. It didn't beat the key, though. That key's amazing. I like it better it's okay because so i think you losing all relics i'm definitely losing all relics that's for sure Let's see what it say on the back who knows it didn't unblur not a bit <laughs> well maybe after we clean it up <laughs> good job man that's a thank beautiful you. button thank you you're welcome So I'm standing here with Philip, yeah. and he's over here on the back side of the church, which we've never been up in here. And uh, this dude has already popped out something we've never dug. He's got a Kennedy 40% silver, 1969 half dollar. We ain't never dug one. That is incredible, dude. I'm excited. What kind of signal was it? I don't remember. I don't remember. He's uh, 88, I think it's like 83 or so. 83? 84, yeah. We gotta go get you a picture for a thumbnail in a minute. Dude, that is incredible, dude. It is incredible. I already got his first silver half. That's insane. Thank already. you. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. You're not coming back next week. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, man. Good job, Philip. Thank you. We done fired a what's the name a few times. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to wrap it up for you guys. We had a really good day. It was a long day. We have metal detected from about 9.30, 10 o'clock, all the way to 8 o'clock. It's 8 o'clock. Our machines are dead or close to being dead. But we're going to show you everything we found. I'll start. Somebody asked yeah. how long we metal detected. They did. Yeah, well, today we went from roughly 10 o'clock this morning till 8 o'clock. So ever how long that is? What, 10 go. hours? Yeah, you know. Yeah. This is all my clad. I got this little Model T valve stem nut. I got this little button off a piece of clothing, probably blue jeans. This little ruptured duck pin, probably World War II. I got 16 wheats here. I give six away to the homeowner, the first homeowner, so total of 22 wheat pennies. I got this buffalo nickel and two silver mercury dimes. A 41, I think it was, and a 30, 35. So that was my finds. Really good day of digging. Mike, you wanna start next? I got, I don't need this guy. I don't think so. I got um, 14 wheat pennies, three clad quarters, two Roosevelt's. I don't know what year they were. Anyway, you have to take a word for it. I have two, two silver ones. I don't know what this doodad is. I didn't even show it to John. I have no clue. And you seen this little button. It's cool. It's got some back marks. I'm going to have to look it up. And this one don't have a back to it. Two piece missing the back. And uh, we think it's Boy Scout. Maybe. It kind of looks like it. it. It's we'll got look that Boy Scout look to that it. That little sure. thing that we dig. Mm -hmm. Boy Scout clad lady. dimes, clad pennies. Uh, I, this is something I. It seems familiar, but it ain't coming to mind. Anyway, junk now. And this huge. 
key. We don't That's dig awesome. enough of those. Mm -hmm. no. It's cool. It's been a long time since we dug one of these. Yep. There you go. Gary. All right. We've got the standard clad. Bunch of memorial pennies. Four dimes and a crunched up dime. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. A couple bucks worth of quarters. That's the $20 bill. One bonus marble. Uh, an 88 dog tag. Runaway marble. Mm -hmm. Ten wheats. Mm -hmm. Uh, makeup compact and a mercury dime and one toy jack. If we can make it spin, here we go. Cool, that's mine. Here you go, Phil. What'd you get, Phil? Uh, a bunch of junk. You got some good stuff. Man. Um, I got some regular pennies, memorials, uh, some old shoes, a compact lid, and uh, the bottom of it as well. It's a whole compact case. Okay. There you go. <laughs> uh, a key says master. So an old master key. Couple dimes. Couple nickels. Couple quarters. Two wheat pennies. Oh. Uh, 1945 mercury dime. Oh, wait, and that's a, not it. What? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Okay. We've got an angel. One more thing. Angel. A bonus uh, marble. That's right. Um. Uh, that ain't what I was talking about. A bridle, something bridle come off of a horse's rein, I guess. And uh, 1969, what, half dollar? 40 percenter. 40 percent. First one we ever dug on the channel. Yep. First one. Good job. Good job, Philip. I mean, Great good job, job Philip. Good job, Philip. <laughs> <laughs> Last day coming with us. <laughs> <laughs> so that was our hunt. We thank all of you guys for coming along with us. We enjoy doing this. We hope you guys enjoy watching it. If you could, check us out on Patreon. It does help us out in making our videos. We've got about two hours, two hours, 20 minutes of driving already. We've got another hour, 20 minutes home, and it's already after 8 o'clock. If you need metal detectors, equipment, I am a dealer. I can save you money on that stuff. We're all using the Manacore today, but I will be using the Deus 2 some more, Equinox 800, as both of those are great detectors as well. But if you enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. That's right. Turn on the bell for notifications. And we'll catch you guys next week. Peace. I could never settle.